Cronex says, I've been in crypto for almost two years now and I've had a lingering question. I understand how FIBs work and the golden levels, but why do these charts respect a FIB level? It's a great question. So this is going to require a very in-depth answer. And I had the same question that you had. So let me pull it up for you. Yeah, here it is. So it's down here at the bottom, this part about um, the reason why they're adhered to could be explained by suggesting that humans subconsciously seek out Fibonacci ratios. Um, they're comfortable with excessively long trends. Chart analysis has a lot in common with nature in the sense that things that are based on certain ratios are beautiful and shapely. And on the other hand, things that don't contain these ratios look ugly and seem suspicious and unnatural. So this has to do with that we like order and stuff. The other thing is, uh, it's like, it's more of a ratio thing. So, you know, you have to think about like ratios, I guess. Um, you know, if you think about like, for example, when you take a trade, right? And you think about, think, think about it like this, right? Here's an example. When you take a trade, there's a certain amount of money that you're, comfortable with making in that trade right after a while you start feeling very like very like i guess emotional um or almost like it's in disbelief right same thing with like losses right there's a certain amount of loss that you're okay with taking but then there's like that type of loss that's a lot more and you're like no, no, I, I can't like, this is, this is, and then there's that loss where it's like heartbreaking, right? Where your like stomach falls down, right? Like that's the worst. Okay. Now think about those. And I want you to apply those feelings to like a ratio, the ratio or the amount percentage of the, of that price of your wallet. Right. Okay. That's just an example is that we work in like ratios or percentages like that. So when you think about like 20K, people that short at 20K, right? You know, apply that same concept to the drop from 20K, right? You know, people are gonna start taking profits, you know, getting comfortable with trades at a certain amount from 20K. You know, if they're shorting from 20K, they're gonna get comfortable with a certain amount of when it comes down. So that, that's kind of like how to think about the ratios and the percentages of it, if that makes sense. I know that's kind of an abstract answer, but that's, that's kind of how I think about it. You know, I talked to um, a, um, this guy I used to know a long time about, ago about that. He's a um, physicist and it's more or less how he explained it to me, his thoughts on it. And they said, yeah, just like Al said, we're all living in a simulation. Um, and then there's other types of supports and resistances, right? More than just fibs. I mean, these, these pivots here are based on fibs, right? So these are fibs that are based on, you know, the pivots on different time frames, the daily, weekly, and the monthly. And so these are the fib ratios, you know, calculated every single day based on the previous day's highs and lows. So it's all ratios, you know. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.